in this section, we are going to talk about the slopes and the rates of change. Another form of the slope, we call the difference quotient. By definition, if the order pair x comma f of x is any fixed point on the curve and the coordinate x plus h comma f of x plus h is another point on the curve, then the different quotient is the slope of the secant line to these two points. We can refer to the slope formula in general, which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. If we let the first coordinate here as the coordinate x1, y1, therefore the x2, y2, that is the same as the coordinate x plus h, f of x plus h. After we use the slope formula, substitute y2 with the function at x plus h and the y1 with the f of x, x2 with the x plus h, and the x1 as the x, we receive the form as you see in the middle part here. The denominator, which is in the form of x plus h minus x, x and minus x can be simplified or they will be gone. Now, the form that we see on the other side of the equal sign represents the difference quotient, which is the same as the slope of the secant line through these two points. Slope of a point on a curve. A slope of a curve f of x at the point a, b is exactly the slope of the tangent line to the curve at that point. And this is also called the instantaneous rate of change. Another way we can say that the slope of the tangent line represented by m or the slope subscript tan from the tangent line. m tangent line is the limit of the different quotient or the limit of the expression f of x plus h minus f of x or divided by h as h approaches zero, which h represents the difference of the first x and the second x. Now, let's look at the picture that represents the slope of the tangent line and the slope of the secant line. The first one here on the left, the blue curve represents the curve of the function f of x. So this is y equals f of x. And then the coordinate x here, and the y, x, y located on the curve. Another coordinate at x plus h and y, the function at x plus h. So these two order pairs located on the curve. We draw the secant line passing these two points to find the slope is the function at x plus h, which is y2 minus the function at x, which is y1, divided by x2 minus x1, which is the same value as the h, which is the gap, or the difference of the first x and the second x here. And then with the concept that the h approaches zero or the gap between the first x and the second x or the h approaches zero. So the two coordinates coming closer and closer to each other. With this concept, the limit of the slope of the secant line represent the slope of the tangent line at the point x. And this notation represented by the derivative of the function f at the point x. In summary, the slope of a curve function f of x at the point a, b is the same as the slope of the tangent line to the curve at that point, and it's the same as the instantaneous rate of change which is the derivative of the function f of x at x equals a, we use the notation f prime at a, with the f with the dash on the upper right and parenthesis a. With the 
mathematical notation, we can say that the slope of the tangent line or m of tangent is the limit as h approaches zero of the different quotient of the function f of x. Note that the derivative f prime x is the slope of the tangent line at the coordinate x comma f of x. For any input x equals a, for a given function f of x, f of a is the function value represent the height of the point where the f prime at a or the derivative of the function at a represent the slope of the curve at the point. Another way we call it the derivative of the function fx at x equals a. In this example, we cannot interpret the meanings of the function and its derivative. Given the function f of x as x squared minus x minus 1, we interpret the meaning of the function at negative 6, is negative 1, and the meaning of the f prime at 6 equals negative 13. So the function at negative 6 or f at negative 6 equals 41, it means the height of the graph at x equals negative 6 is 41. And in part b, to interpret the meaning of f prime at 6 equals negative 13, we can say that the slope of the tangent line at x equals 6 is negative 13. For well, problem two, suppose f of x is the cause of the hot torus and x is the edge of the car. Is f prime x positive or negative? We call the f prime x is the slope of the tangent line. Which is the same as the in instantaneous rate of change of the function f of x, which is the cost, with respect to the x, which is the number of years, in general, the value of the car is decreasing over time. Therefore, the rate of change of the cost with respect to the time going to be negative. In part B, we're going to interpret the meaning of the F prime at 3 equals negative 2,500. The F prime at 3 is the rate of change. The 3 is the x, which is the age of the car. That means the car is 3 years old. And negative sign represents decreasing. So we can say that um, after 3 years, the cost of the car is decreased. by $2,500, decrease negative inside the year, which is the x. Next one, number three, we're going to use the graph to find the slope of the function f of x at x equals negative 2. We locate the coordinate at x equals negative 2 over there. And then we're going to find the slope, slope of the function f of x, that is the derivative at the point negative 2, which is the slope of the tangent line. We have to draw the tangent line passing to that coordinate. 
That is a tangent line. To find the slope of the tangent line. Since this is a line, we just pick the two order pairs that located on the tangent line. At x equals negative 2, the y is negative 1. Another coordinate that we see after we drew the tangent line is 0, 0, which is one of them. You can pick any point on the line. So the, any two points on the line will give you the same slope of that line. So with the slope formula, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, we use the coordinate negative 2, negative 1 as x1, y1 and coordinate 0, 0 as x2, y2. Put in the slope formula, you get 0 minus negative 1 divided by 0 minus negative 2 and simplify to be 1 over 2, which is representing the slope of the tangent line or the slope of the function f of x at x equals negative 2.